Hi, in this lesson of the complete Cucumber Gherkin course for Java, I'm going to teach you about the step argument called data table. Coming up. Hey, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle, a certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of craftofprogramming.com. The craftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science topics, programming languages and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell so that you are informed every time I publish regular content. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's lesson. Okay, so let's introduce the concept of a uh, data table, which is one of the two uh, supported Cucumber uh, step arguments. The other one is doc strings that we're going to cover on the next lesson. So the first thing that I want to do is let me create a uh, new uh, feature file. So let's call example with um, step argument. So example with step arguments and um, feature, let's call it uh, example with step argument. Okay. Now let's see what I would like to do. So notice that um, given that my library is initialized and the total number of books is 10. So I would like to change things a little bit. So basically what I want to do is I want to load a empty library, okay, service, a service without uh, books. And what I want to do to illustrate the feature of a um, data table, I want to specify the data table explicitly in my scenario. And um, instead of uh, the books being loaded from uh, the uh, book CSV by, you know, when the library is initialized. So let's just call it a scenario. And this scenario is again, just a you know, simple, simple example with step argument. So here we're going to do simple example with a data table. Okay. So what I want to do is given that my library is initialized empty, so it's a new step we're going to create. We're going to implement this step soon. Uh, so what I want to do is given that my library is initialized empty and the following, okay, I need to escape and the following table of books. Okay. Now let's implement the table of books. Again, remember the cucumber tables are basically, you know, uh, cells separated by the pipe. So we've got our title. Let's look at our, uh, again, book CSV um, and have it here next to us so that we know exactly what the fields are. Um, or if you want, we can look at the book class. It's the same thing. So we've got a title and then we have the uh, page count, page count, or if you want to be more, you know, fancy number of pages um, to read, I guess, in a more natural way. The topic is the third parameter, year of publication. And last but not least, we get the authors. Okay. All right. So that's our table. Now let's, um, you know, create some books here. I mean, let's say the first book is, I don't know, let's call it book, uh, you know, one has whatever, 42 pages. The topic is computing. And the year publication was last year and authors is me. And the second book, it's our book two, which has uh, 400 pages. Let's just say it's a sci-fi book and was pub published this year by the author Santos. Okay. So um, that's how you define a data table in Cucumber Gherkin. So basically you write it after the step you know, and you just basically provide the, you know, a, um, as I said, a header separated by pipes. And then each row is, you know, obviously a row within this table. Okay. So let's um, continue with the implementation of the test. So then what I want to do is, as I said before, when given this, when I, uh, you know, search for the book, say with title and topic, let's say, uh, book one, 
book one and the topic is uh, computing then what I want to say is then I find the book with title book one and obviously I want to repeat the same thing and I search for the book with title book two which topic is sci-fi then I find the book two okay so this is very simple test just to illustrate the data table feature so let's implement those two steps um, let's make it a little bit more interesting by introducing another step definition class so I'm going to in, in implement this step definition on the existing basic step definition class okay that the library is empty let's move this to the top because that's I have a similar method that initializes my library recall that the library has this boolean here which if you recall this boolean is basically whether to preload or not preload the library and I want this to be false because I don't want the library to load the books remember the whole point of this test is to instead of loading the books off of this uh, CSV instead what I want to do is I want the test itself to pass the list of books onto the service and then so that I can assert okay so I want to load an empty service all right so now this which is the interesting step that introduced the concept data table let's implement it as I said on a different um, step definition uh, class just to make the you know the, the, the problem more interesting let's say uh, step argument so let's say basic step definitions step argument okay let's implement this something very important about cucumber step arguments cucumber step arguments are not captured so they are implicitly passed from cucumber to the to the um, for the from the cucumber step onto the cucumber step definition so the only thing you need to write here is what you are expecting to get in this case is a list of uh, books okay so that's my books that's that's the only thing you need to um, to expect okay so then what I want to do is because this remember the library service is empty these books are being passed by the test obviously what I need to do is I need to get a hold of the service the library service add this list onto the service so that then I can assert but where is my library service I don't have a handle right and I obviously don't want to you know if I ask the library service for um, you know let's say a false then the problem here will be that I have on one um, you know step definition class I have one instance of the library there are two you know basically two ways to solve this problem either we make the library service a singleton or you know we introduce a sort of you know test context a class that would basically keep the state which is common across all step definitions in this case we have two step definitions so we could use that instead um, in an, a more advanced lesson I'm going to introduce the concept of dependency injection where you could um, use a dependency injection container to actually inject the um, test context or state that any of these step definitions need and is shared across them right for now let's do it manually so let's um, create a simple class that I'm gonna call test context okay and uh, as I say this class will be a uh, singleton so I need here a public static final test context uh, instance okay test context and basically what this um, class will do it's gonna have a um, a library service instance and um, I'm gonna have a method here that is basically going to give me that you know library service okay so uh, library service uh, get service get library service that's fine and obviously we're gonna have the boolean to determine whether we want it to be preloaded or not and um, this library service we're gonna do library service you know get service and pass the preload and then obviously we're going to return it okay so basically this is very simple just having a singleton that whose purpose is to uh, you know keep the uh, state the main service uh, reference and you know um, the step definitions need to now you know use the test context to get 
uh, handle uh, of this library service. Okay, so now let's go to our basic step definitions where we have here our library. So remember, what we want to do is we want to replace this by our test context class. Okay, so we want to get it. Um, we want to get the library service. So we want the instance and then we want the library service. Okay, so that's the same thing we want to do here where we are also initializing the library. So again, simple thing we did was we just moved the, um, you know, the access to uh, fetch the library service instead of you know going directly to the library service we're just going via the test context um, it's a naive implementation but it will do for now now that we have that then you know uh, here we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna ask the test context for uh, the um, library service but obviously we don't want it to be preload so we're gonna say false okay and let's um, assign it to um, as a field of the class so that if we wish, we can do further assertions, okay? So now that we have our service, then obviously what we're gonna do is for each book, okay, B, we are going to um, add it to um, the library service. We're going to add the book. Let's just run this for you to see uh, what is the problem here. Oof, look at that. Step failed. So see what Cucumber is saying. This is the, the step that Cucumber is complaining is this step where I say the following uh, table of books. And what Cucumber is saying is, hey, um, I cannot convert the um, this list of the table onto a list of books. I don't know how to do that, right? And, you know, it gives you a bit more information here saying there is no table entry or table transformer registered for book. Please consider registering a table entry or transformer. So you basically have two ways to handle passing data tables onto your steps, okay? So one way to do it is, for example, is to use a list of list of strings. And um, let's just comment this out for now. And let's do a system out of this for you to see what you get passed in here. Let's rerun the same test. Okay, you see what you got here? So basically I have a, a list got automatic, a list of a list obviously got passed to me here. So I have my two, uh, you know, lists. Okay, where each list is basically a book. So you could write your tests like, like that. So Cucumber implicitly passes this table as that. But the problem is, you know, there is not much. First of all, it's not as readable as just getting a list of books. And then you have to, you know, um, iterate over this and then, you know, create a book object explicitly before passing and for doing something with it. In this case, we want to pass it to the library service. So this is reads much better. And that's the way I would advise you to, um, to, to use uh, data tables. Now, what's missing here is, as I said, the conversion from that list of strings onto the book object. And to do that, you use what's called a data table type uh, in Cucumber. You tag a basically a factory, a method, right? That's going to give you the book, book definition, okay? And remember what you get passed here is a map of, this is an entry. Basically, an entry here is a, um, is effectively a cell of each of the of the table so for each row remember each row represents a book for each row cucumber is going to give me a map right uh, of the header onto the value so i'm going to get a map of title to the value number of pages to the value topic to the value and so on and so forth right which i will be using to construct my book object okay um, let's look at the book and see how the constructor looks okay so the constructor takes we have a constructor that takes a title page count topic year of publication and authors so then what we need to do is we need to create so we're going to return a new book okay that's what we're going to return where entry first we're going to get is the uh, title Okay, here we don't need to do any conversions, but it's probably advisable to trim it so that we don't have spaces getting onto our book uh, object. The second um, a field is number of pages. So perhaps I should copy it so that I don't have any typos. 
okay and notice that number of pages is a string but the book is expecting an int so obviously we're going to again trim and we're going to parse this string onto an int uh, then the next one is a topic obviously topic value of okay entry get uh, topic and again let's trim it okay and then we have year of publication again year uh, we do parse again entry get then again year of publication I don't want to be uh, typing because I mean year of publication trim and lastly we have our last entry which is the authors okay all right so that's what we have let's see what we have here so what we did was um, maybe I should put this here so that it's easier to uh, compare and contrast okay so what I did was I we defined a data table okay which as I say is an implicit way for cucumber to pass uh, strings onto your step definitions okay we define our data table it's implicitly passed because you don't need to capture with any uh, in, the, in the cucumber expression we are instead of using the built-in list of list of strings we want to have better more readability and better type check we doing list of book okay and um, the problem we using list of books is that you have to or not a problem but the requirement you need to provide to cucumber a way to convert from a map of strings of strings onto a book and that's what we're doing here right this data table uh, this definition of of, uh, of a book right this factory method doesn't necessarily have to be in the same um, class or the same step definition for the table it just needs to be uh, you know within uh, what's called the glue code package okay when you run a cucumber test you provided the package of where the step definitions which are called glue are located so as long as the definition for these types are in the same um, class pass right as the other step definitions it's fine it doesn't need to be inside the same class but anyway that's what we have here so now that we have um, our um, step definition implemented let's run and make sure that it passes so I do have an error here so let's see what's going on um, okay so book is null book is null because uh, let's see the library probably does not have the book so let's do a bit of a debugging to see what exactly is going on why not let's put a breakpoint here so let's debug it again find out 284 let's resume execution and here I am and of course that's the problem 20 2382 so I'm do dealing with two instances of the library so uh, let's see yeah of course so obviously um, I just want to do that if it's null obviously okay then that's it okay so every time I was getting library service, I was creating a new instance. So clearly, this is not what I want. I just want to create it once. If it's null, otherwise, just return the instance. So let's rerun it and make sure that the test passes. So as you see, the test passed. Okay. I hope you found this lesson useful. Thanks for watching.